Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Interaction. So we are back at our base. Uh, so I put some chests here, I killed some um, zombies what, two times more. And uh, this is what I got out of it. Um, some of this gear is insane. Uh, one of them, here you go, goes right off the screen. Now anything with life mending is useless because that means when the gear repairs itself like when it has any kind of damage it will take your health your life to repair it so not such a good idea uh but one thing i noticed and was kind of funny is that uh, most of the uh, gear is repaired and i couldn't figure out why that was it's like why are you getting little bits here and there but the the life mending ones had a lot more and it simply the zombies themselves were repairing it. They were actually taking damage when they pile up in here. And uh, it was kind of funny just seeing it happen. I also noticed they kind of fight for armor. Like, it goes on the ground and they rotate it. Like, they keep just, like, rotating their own armor. It was really weird. I don't know if they think it's an upgrade and because of all these crazy weird stats. If it, you know... I, I really don't know what was going on. It was really crazy. Like, this has multi-jump and feather falling and everything else. Like, I can tell you, if you put this on... You're not going to get, like, the crazy effects that it says they're on there. You'll get some of the, you know, basic ones, but you're not going to all of a sudden become, like, a demigod and start floating in the sky or anything like that. You know, you're not going to get, like, a billion protection either out of it, even though, it, you know, it might say that. Yeah, don't really. I think they're kind of broken. What they're really good for is pretty much for disenchanting later on from my understanding so that might be a lot of fun but um anyway say we're gonna work on uh, building yeah we're gonna work on getting our uh, base up and running i forgot my wand i guess it's not here i thought it was here but you know what i might have left it at our base because i didn't want to lose it so let me go get that quickly okay so i think i got what i need um i also brought the transmutation uh, little thing here uh philosopher's stone that's what they call it because um i can take cobblestone and basically uh, turn it into something else which i think that would be pretty cool and i have some extra chests here so i think this is going to be our flooring um i realized this one you can't die into everything it was actually just the one thing you can die it with oh i actually want more of this gold one but uh, that's fine i wanted to do like monochrome or something but then i realized i don't have the ability to really get that there's one plant out there that i haven't gotten yet and then outside of that um uh, it's like ink or some other more complex ones, which I just don't have yet. And the porcelain here, well, once again, you can't do it from the porcelain bricks. I was just so used to doing the rainbow ones that way. So that's fine. I like the color for a floor and we can use other block types. I'm not much of a, a decorator or whatever, but uh, I think we can come up with something anyways. So I was thinking we'll just go ahead and we'll use cobblestone and, uh, to build with. And uh, let's go ahead and I guess we can eat one of these anyways. There you go. Let's go ahead and um, have some torches on hand. We got those. Okay, so and then we're going to go and get ourselves a chisel as well. That way we can do something with it. Okay, so let's hit F9. There you go. So we want to make sure we're within the, the chunk border. I'm going to be building my walls within it, so I won't like put them outside of it, and then anything in it, you're good. And you can say, oh, you got a bit more space. But then the next room over kind of messes it up, and it's just not really worth it in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the uh, regular uh, cobblestone here. And then we're going to change that into a better material, basically. So we should probably put F7 on because these rooms will start getting dark. And the last thing you want to do is get your hand, your, your ass handed to you um, because of mobs coming in, things like that, right? So, and they will spawn over time, that's for sure. There you go. You're already seeing the, the weaknesses. There you go. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, basically at this point, we can just go boom, 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 boom. Now, I do prefer my rooms to be kind of tall. Um, so I, I think some people just maybe do three. I prefer mine to be uh, a little taller than that personally, but that's up to you. So there's, uh, that's four, that's three, sorry. Yeah, um, four or five. I want to, eh, maybe four. Hard to say. Five gives you more room too, right? So maybe I'll do five. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do one more. 
Got all the materials on us. Good. Just didn't want to have to, like, run out halfway in here. I forgot my little tablet. Well, it's in the chest over there, but could have used that instead. Okay, so there you go. And then, uh, basically, we're going to put a roof on this. I guess we can use this as roofing material, too, to be fair. Um, that would work, too. So, porcelain. Yeah, I have uh, I, I have some smooth stone back at the base, but I don't have a ton of smooth stone. Usually, I use that as the roof. But you know what? I might just go for the porcelain for the, for the fun of it, really. Um, so, why not, right? So, there's a bit of it, anyways. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and put you here. And then... Sorry, I'm just trying to make some room here for some other stuff. Okay, and then we can just go boom, 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 boom. And then you kind of want to get your roof up and running because you don't want, obviously, the uh, the mobs spawning up top here. And because they're half slabs, mobs don't spawn on uh, on them. So that's kind of the, the beauty of them. Yeah, unfortunately, because it's you know this goes only 9 out, and of course a chunk is 16, so... In size 16 by 16. There we go. I wonder if this is fixed. We'll give it a try. This used to be this is a newer version, but I don't know if they would have fixed it or if it still jumps. Oh no, it definitely does the stupid thing still. I had a feeling it might, but I wasn't sure. Okay, there you go. Do they stack with the other ones, by the way? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. Just making sure they give you... I've seen uh, in the past, it's like, oh, the mod or something screws something up, and instead they give you... Uh, <laughs> it's it's a bit crazy, but they give you, like, a double slab version pack. It's like, uh, what am I going to do with that? Okay, there you go. And then I guess this could be our front door or whatever. It doesn't matter. I can move the teleporter later. The crystal, though, is a bit annoying. Oh, yeah, because I can't. I'd have to run all the way back manually for that. But if I make a secondary crystal later on, then it wouldn't be actually a, much of an issue, right? So that's actually not a bad way to look at it. So all there should be no grass anymore. So if we're lucky, we should actually be able to do this. And there you go. Yeah. So it shouldn't go further than this because you've... There's, it, it's only taking grass, right? So, by the way, you can do this. And you can light it up. Obviously, I shouldn't do crap. Um, there you go. Obviously, you don't want to put it on the floor now I think about it. Because that's what we're replacing. But, uh, yeah. And then... Uh, there we have it. And then, yeah, I guess we can use this as the floor, at least for this one. I might not always do it, but I've decided this time it's going to be using this. And then let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then there we go. And there is our fancy new floor and our new room. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I don't like it. I mean, it makes it so it lights it up when you move around with dynamic lights. If you got, like, say, Optifine and stuff installed. But the problem with that is uh, those are too high for my liking. We'll go, like, this level. I do like the height, but uh, the torches don't need to go quite that high up in the air. Not yet, anyways. There you go. And then we can take these ones out. Now you'll start getting spots in the middle of the room. There you go. And then one here, one here. There you go. So that's one of our rooms. Now to change it, obviously. There you go. We can take this out. To uh, change this, you can change the material type. So I thought there was a way to... Oh, gosh. I did not know you can do it that way, too. I think there's a way to enlarge in it, but uh, I don't really remember what those were. I think it's near the bottom, to be fair. Project D. Let's try four, I guess. Oh, something's on four, apparently. Six, I guess. Panel mode. That should be enough, then. Or not. 
version of panel mode is a little different than what I thought it was. Maybe if I hold down this. Try cube mode then. No, it doesn't seem to work that way. I was pretty sure you can actually do like a huge, you know, amount of it, but there's this one. Extra function, I'm pretty sure wouldn't be it because that's the other thing. You can actually fire from it. That's a bit weird. Um, the charge, maybe it's related to charging, actually. I don't know. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at how much it does at once. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Okay. okay, that worked out really well. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and put this here. Now there's water under here, which is annoying. Maybe I'll use some of it, or I'll just go and get rid of it because it's a bit flowing sounding and I hate flowing water, obviously. It would be pretty annoying over time. So, And then, unfortunately, we don't have a better chisel right now. So you're stuck with the, the regular chisel. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah, we need to do our little thing here. Um, let's go ahead. And, ooh, you know what I can't do with the chisel? Oh, I can, actually. I can pick the block and then choose what I like. So you get to kind of pick what you like here. Oh, I guess because it's on the doorway there. Ah, I see. It's a bit different. So you get to decide, well, what do you like, you know, look-wise, and then go from there. Now, this is not as exciting because it is just stone, so. There's other colors and other patterns you can pick and things like that. That's kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. Might be a little too kind of taken away from the eye though. I don't mind that too much, but I don't like the... Uh, I like the color more than anything. Yeah, those don't match up. I'm just trying to figure out what, what I want look-wise. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, so we should be able to remove that safely. Yeah. And then what we can do is put it in here, and then it'll automatically do it when we apply it now. And then let's put this one back. And then this should automatically just change it all to the one we picked. There you go. Now, I could have done that too, like the same idea. But instead, uh, what I should have done was uh, just change it, grab it now, I could pick it up, put it in there, and then pick and choose, right? But that's fine. You can see all the different ones. It was actually the second, first one. Funny how that worked out to be. But it was weird when I chiseled it by hand. I don't, I don't get that part, but whatever. Might be easier to even do it out here, to be fair. Um, there you go. So later on, when you get like a diamond chisel, for example, you'll be able to do like panels, for example. So you'll have a lot more. It'll be it'll be easier to change the wall, obviously. So this is which way we're going with now. There we go. Now, if this breaks, you might lose the block, by the way, inside of it. So, you might want to take it out just before. Okay. So, it takes a little extra time, but, you know, in the end, you know, I didn't have to smell any uh, smooth stone. Like, placing the smooth, you know, smooth down was really easy. And this is not too bad, you know, compared to having to sit there and wait for it. Now, it's still a lot easier to do it when, obviously, you got the, uh, <laughs> when you when you have hundreds of them and you just throw them in there and do them in mass numbers, so. What other, uh, what ones are in the cobblestone? So, those are all the cobblestone, including the colors. Interesting, I don't know if they were included in that one. 
Okay, so uh, basically, um, we take this one out, and uh, we can throw it in here for now. And then we just grab another chisel. And then you go ahead and put that in there, and when we can finish up. If there is anything to finish up. Wait, did we do it perfectly? Like, I was done and I just didn't realize it? <laughs> I think we did, even with all the screwing around and everything. Yeah, we, we did it. Oh, okay. That's funny. Didn't see that happening. There you go. We didn't do that part. We can say we failed. And then, uh, yeah, so I guess, uh, I mean, a doorway, usually it's... Uh... Okay, that is not supposed to happen. They're getting in another way. I think they're getting in by pushing themselves through the wall. I think, if that's what they just did. They have that ability to leap forward. I thought it was only for attacks, but I wonder if they leapt through the wall. Unless, if, of course, we got a major security breach somewhere over here. But I'm going to guess they, broke, they, they cheated through the wall. Which means that we're going to have to consider... I'm hitting F7. I can't even see the light level because... Uh, oh, okay, it's on. Yeah, so unless they got through, like, you know, the, or sorry, unless they spawned in a low light level, which I don't see anything here, they broke in, and they're not supposed to do that. But yeah, I've seen it happen. They can, when I was fighting them, some of them went through the wall, but I thought it was that leap mechanic while I'm there. But if they can just get through whenever they want, damn, I might end up having to put like a secondary wall or something out eventually. I'll probably put some traps and other things out there anyways, but it definitely means I got to be more careful than that. That's too bad. Anyways, life is life. Um, so yeah, there's our first building. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna... There we go. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll get some more rooms set up. It's, it's, a, it's a square building. That's my design. I like squares. And uh, it works well, though. It fits in the chunk, and then that way you have everything in the chunk. You don't have to worry about things breaking or derpiness. And then, so, yeah, I'll build a couple more rooms, and then I'll start moving the things uh, over here, basically. And we'll we'll start getting things running and uh, go from there. Yeah, look at them all kind of, like, wrapping around. <laughs> okay, we'll back in a few. Some of the trees I cleared off my property was this olive wood uh, one. So I don't know if it would change it at all, but I'm hoping that zombies can't break it down. Eh, not saying it won't, but uh, I, I thought I'd give it a try anyways and see uh, potentially uh, how good it is. <laughs> see if it, it works out or if it doesn't work out, basically, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, so yeah, I need more of you guys. Oh, you got lots of there. Let's get rid of our crap here. Just go around and, oh, I just put my chisel in there. I was okay. I was kind of done that with that anyways. It's just more of the fact that, uh, the smooth stone was in there. Our little, uh, pattern, but we can always rip it off the wall now. Um, but yeah, so I thought, yeah, it would be kind of good to, uh, try a door anyways, see if it'll help. Not saying it will, but if it does, awesome. If not, well, probably no harm done, hopefully. <laughs> I might even try it with the zombies we have here. So let's do it in every room just for the fact that things are crazy right now. So I, I probably won't even have doors in here later on, but eh, they're nice looking doors anyways. But uh, just, just for now, you know, with... The crazy zombies and everything else. Um, do we have more of our wall in here? We have this. Oh, we had more of that. I thought we kind of ran out of that, actually. Because I, uh, I ran out of the roof material, so I can make more of that after. There we go. Okay, we'll just leave those guys alone for now. So, yeah, we can use this. I don't know where my rain... I thought I had all my rainbow. I, I mean, I have a bunch of this still somewhere. Obviously not right now with me, but uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and let's just try this out. This I'm not saying this is going to be a good idea or anything like that, obviously. But uh, let's go ahead. Oh, this will let spiders in, by the way. Unless... No, this still let spiders in. This whole idea is a bad idea. 
because of the losing the arch over here. Darn it, whatever. Like, I want to test this out, but I don't want it to. You know what? Screw it. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll try it this way instead. Here we got our one zombie coming in. Let's get rid of this because it's annoying to look at. Oh crap, I hate that freeze. I get that on the client, not sure what causes it, but we'll see what happens here. I don't even think he's smart enough to get up there. Oh, I think they can't get... Th Can they not get through this part of it, or...? Oh, he got through that one. Okay, that guy did. Oh, zombies are really stupid. there but anyways it looks like it, the door is safe so oh crap well it ain't safe apparently oh crap it isn't safe it isn't safe Woo. okay it is not safe Hope I don't get a client freeze or we're game over here for sure. Okay. Well, that did not work out the way we thought it would. So, no, unfortunately, they can break through those doors. So, spoilers! That did not work. Uh, but it has a cool looking door anyways. <laughs> I still don't know where those guys came in. Obviously, there might be a weird dark spot over here just because of what we've been working on. But it doesn't make sense why I'm getting guys coming over here. So this wall stuff might not actually work. It should. But obviously, maybe there's some kind of issue or uh, bug with it kind of thing that is letting them get over. So... Or we have some weird blind spot somewhere, or maybe there's teleportation. Oh, I have no clue. You never know with these packs, right? Um, there you go. Yeah, because you'd think there'd be more coming in if that happened, but you know, look at them all over there. Holy crap. Anyways, I like my wall still. I'm not going to go crazy over it. I'll just have to find... I might put a moat in, you know, things like that over time just to find ways to help protect it more. But obviously, it's just a bit of a nuisance that, you know, it shouldn't be doing that. It is doing it. It is what's happening, so... You just say you have to leave with it. So don't forget the last strip you have to do by yourself because it just likes to be a pain in the butt. It's like your last stand on the roof of the building. <laughs> Darn it. We don't like that. There you go. That's just weirdly unattractive looking. Okay, so there we have it. That's that's good. So, yeah, look at them all out there. There's a zoom button I have, I think, on here. Zoom. It's not set right now. But uh, C, is it? Okay, let's see if C works then. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, 
pretty cool. Okay, so my next task is to start bringing stuff over here at least. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to figure out why the zombies are going through the walls anyways. So, uh, see if there's, uh, you know, there's spikes, I think, in here. Let's check those out, actually. I know there's spikes. Um, iron sp spikes, stone spikes. So there's your stone spikes. Compressed. Oh, that's just mean. Reduces uh, half uh, reduces half to a hurt, but doesn't kill. Oh, do they have durability? If they do, meh. If they don't, that's actually pretty cool then, because then you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, that half a heart. It's like they you just chew them up there, and all you'd have to do is go and whack, 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 and there you go. Get looting sword, whack, 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 whack. Your 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 game, right? So, actually, I was just wondering if any of these. Okay, so I do want to try that eventually. Hmm. Another time, anyways. Let me start uh, getting some storage and chests and things like that, and we'll see what we got them with. Okay, so I'm making these guys. They're a little annoying to make. Uh, I guess if you had the right crafting table. I wonder if there's other crafting tables yet. Uh, this would be probably a bit more enjoyable to do. I basically crafted a ton of the swords. And I just threw them on the floor. And that way I can pick them up automatically while I fill this up. So uh, I gotta do that. Yeah, there you go. We'll see how if this uh, might take damage, unfortunately. I really don't know. So, um, But just enough to... Kind of wet the palette, test it out, see if it works out, or stupid idea, or, you know, whatever. Just for fun, and uh, see what it brings us. Let's bring some of this with us, too. I got some stuff processing over here, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, try out anyways. Hopefully there's not, like, mobs out there waiting. Though the map looks pretty clear. Though there's some red stuff out there that could be loot. Oh no, there's definitely guys out there. It's like hopefully there's nothing out there. Oh no, we're out here. Um, they they want to make sure they know. Okay. Guess we can take down this disastrous thing here. Once they covered it up, they didn't, I guess, try to break through. I guess because they saw no path at that point, so they didn't try again. So yeah, the the idea here I was thinking of trying anyways is um, going and putting these spikes here. Now I think the spikes put put them up in the air potentially. So you might have to let's see what happens with this guy coming here in a second. Oh, do they actually not work that way? Oh, interesting. They might actually not climb on it unless they have a reason to climb on it. I did not know that. Well, we'll try it anyways. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? It's it's all about the fun, so... Um, just something new to try, and uh, like I say, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Hopefully it doesn't do a lot of damage, because I really don't want to be getting injured by these... Oh, they do hurt by touching them. Okay. Oh, they could be sideways? Hmm. It's actually kind of fun uh, looking, to be honest. That's it. We're taking these down. I didn't know they could be sideways like that. That looks too cool. You could actually do a lot more with that, too. You could just, like... Literally have them spike themselves. So maybe what I'll be doing is instead bringing this grass down, you know, to this level kind of thing. Hmm. I wonder. What does that look like? Does it come out and attach to it? No. Anyways. I could always spike the uh, the one spot more. But yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I might end up replacing the walls with the uh, the walls with a solid blocks, but other people said they had it too, and they were using solid blocks, and they've had mobs teleport behind them. Like the two zombies that showed up behind me, that was a bit weird, and makes me think more that that is definitely another mechanic running instead of you know 
it's not really the correct uh, way things should be. But that, that looks pretty bloody cool. How many more of these we got? 28 of them, huh? I wanted to put some on here for fun. This is going to be hard to get through here, but hopefully I can get through there still. Yeah, just have to be careful, right? And uh, those spiders. Oh, I got to be careful. I didn't think of that. But the spiders might have the opportunity to climb that now. I didn't think of that. Yeah, they might actually be able to climb that because of... Uh... Okay, let's keep it down to just that then. Do like too thick here. Yeah, because they might be able to just climb that and then that would be kind of sore on us, so. And maybe they were getting in because of this method here too. Maybe bringing this down will prevent that just naturally from happening. Maybe putting these spikes here will make it 10 times worse. Who knows, you know, that's, that's kind of what we're gonna learn over time, I guess, honestly. But it'll be kind of interesting. It'll help kill them easier, too, uh, if I want to fight them. They, it brings them down to one health, so they can run back and forth. You don't even have to fight them. And then, just before dawn happens, just start striking them down. And then you kind of have your own little win out of that. Ooh, I have one problem with this whole setup. <laughs> I mean, the setup is great and all, but I have none on my doorway in a sense right now, right? So, let's let's go back in anyways here. But I just thought of this. I'm like, oh wait, if you if this is your doorway, and then you just you know, screw it. We'll just go over here. Oh crap, my food level. Yeah, we're not being smart here, are we? There you go. Thank you, Minecraft, for throwing that out a hundred miles away. Okay. So we should probably be a bit smarter here. And, uh... Have they been dropping any food? Oh, you can eat those for uh, health, I think. Um, not food, though. Um, I was just thinking, hey, do you have anything worthwhile here? I'll just use this for now. Just in case if something happens again. Okay, so let's go... Oh, yeah, I was going to heal myself. That's what I was going to do. I'll use this up. Oh, I should probably still heal myself more than that. I'm not taking any chances here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we threw... Where... Oh, there they are. I was like, wondering where you guys went. Keep this all up for fun, I guess. Hello. Party over here. Hi. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. Oh crap. Yeah, look at that. They came from behind. Okay, there is... Holy crap! That is definitely a really stupid mechanic. Wow, that is a really stupid mechanic. Okay, well, now we know that is happening. Trying to get my pickaxe or my sword here, sorry. I think it's that that ability where they can summon reinforcements. Oh, 
Oh, he's got some. Ah, he's got some stupid thing on him, I think. This is enchanted armor, I guess he's wearing or something. No, I don't know what was going on there. That was hurting me. Yeah, so they got some sort of ability to spawn their zombies through walls and crap like that. Might have even explain the one time I died. Anyways, that is weird. That is not fun, actually, mechanic, to be fair. Um, kind of ruins the whole fun. Like, I mean, what does that mean? Okay, I should build further away. And, you know, that, that would help stop most of that, right? Uh, just have the walls out way, way further than where you, you venture off. But the problem is, that shouldn't happen to begin with. I mean, I might as well just go and torch out the whole area around and then they're just not going to spawn nearby. That that actually would solve that quite a bit. But the whole point of the wall and everything else was the fun of getting up close and they'd be like, nah, nah, boo, boo kind of thing. But they're doing things that they're not supposed to do. They're, they're doing the calling and reinforcements and calling in the middle of nowhere. Like, we, we watched them. We saw them this time. We, you know... They just, they just magically appeared. It was just crazy. So that reinforcement ability that they have is definitely the, the issue here. It's not supposed mm. to do what it did, but obviously uh, it doesn't matter what we think is supposed to be the case. Uh, I just went ahead and did them. Now the zombies, I thought they had a different color. They're coming off a of yellow over there. Yeah, I thought those guys all had like certain colors and all that. I don't even know what they're... Trying to even figure out where all that is, to be fair. Oh, here you go. Hostiles are yellow. Items are red. Other entities are dark purple. No wonder uh, this is all confusing. So items I could probably ignore. Hostile should be... The, the the red or whatever they they should show up like a sore thumb period i don't know why this is like you know that color uh, maybe this should be gold, gold or something like that player should be like a green or something i guess yeah like a green maybe oh there you go yeah that was kind of confusing i could never really i thought it was so every time I used to see red on the map thinking, oh, look at all those zombies. It was just all those entities sitting there, so. Cool. Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, I haven't decided what I'll do about that. I might make bigger walls. I might just push them out further. I might just simply just go around and torch things. Um, that usually is not a bad idea. Um, you know, it's not as exciting, obviously. But if I go ahead and torch it, then they don't spawn nearby, and it's, it's the same thing as a wall, honestly, at that point anyway, so. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out anyways, and I'll play around with it. I'll continue, you know, working on our house, building here. I'll probably start moving things over here as well. So, uh, basically, that just means, you know, we're going to start moving some of this stuff here, there, and make that more of our home, but I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about this stupid entity thing anyway, so. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.